Hi there, uh, welcome to this video. I'm just going to show you another quick video this morning. Um, basically how to make a, a really fast and quick and easy super saw in Zebra. Um, it's really, really easy in Zebra, but of course, as with everything, it can be as easy or as complicated as you like. So I'm just going to initialize the batch. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is change single to 11. Put the uh, re-trigger on, so it all starts at the same place. Get the detune into, into play now. Work out your own detuning, it's up to you really where you want it, where it just sounds good I suppose. So, oh, I'm trying to get it on at 25 there. Okay, that sounds not too bad. And of course, depending on how you use your keyboard, what size your keyboard is and stuff, um, you can drop the tune in as well if you if you feel that's necessary. So I can maybe drop that an octave. Okay, and all I'm going to do now is just add a second oscillator, detune that by 12 as well, put that to quad, V trigger, and I don't know, detune it by. Okay, that sounds great already. There you go, there's your super saw. However, um, that's just a basic super saw. You can you can really go crazy with this. You can um, there's certain things that you can do to make it bigger, bolder, and more experimental. Now, if any of you have ever heard the old track "Dominator" by Human Resource, you can get that kind of effect by messing around with the tuning. So, if I come over here and go, let's call it Envelope Two. And we'll just turn this oscillator off for a time. Okay, so as you can hear, you can, so you're, all, you're getting that pitch drop. Sorry. Okay, you should be able to hear me better. You're getting that pitch drop now, which was the kind of Dominator classic sound. I'm not going to go into detail to get the exact sound because, hey, who wants to copy sounds? But that's how they got that kind of pitch drop. And it's just messing around with the decay and sustain, really, of envelope. Two. Full sustain sound. The decay is what gives it the, um, the, the kind of percussive envelope shape. Up and down straight away. And of course you can change the envelope type to get a quicker, a quicker envelope. Or a slower one, whatever you like. Inverted. That's inverted, that's quicker. And then you can mess around with all the velocity scaling and key scaling, but we're not going to get into that. There's no need for it at the moment. Yeah, you've got F and R here, which stands for fall and rise. So if you listen, what happens? You hear that? It just immediately, full rise means after the decay and sustained times have been achieved, it rises. And as you can see, the less, the more time it takes to go the more, the quicker it gets there, so immediately, if I put it here, it will take a while. Maybe go that way. Pretty self explanatory but you can get some good effects with that, so. So if that's what you want, mess around with those sections. So now we've got Two oscillators. I'm just going to mix them into a mixer. No, I'm not. I'm just, I'll just leave it in this one channel. There's no need to do that. So that's just your basic one, but 
of course, you can start to do things to it to make it sound better. And it also depends on the type of sound. So if you've got like a long sound, yeah, that's where you may want to use things like the pitch drop and stuff to change the sound, you know? If you've got short sounds like this, you might be looking, or short notes should I say, you might be looking for a different type of sound. Just depends. Okay, but then of course you can start to add all kinds of things, like what about some reverb to make it sound bigger? Maybe some kind of filter, so sticking an FMO in there, let's see what that does to it. Stick on the stereo, change it to maybe FM cell. Depending on what it is you're after, do all kinds of things. Um, what else could we add? We could maybe add an XMF filter. Leave it on that, change that to RRL. That will just leave that the same, change that to XMF. You can hear the, uh, the harmonics are starting to change. The sound stand to choose, that's quite a nice sound. That's pretty deep. That's quite a deep sound there, right there. Now if you mess around with the filter, you might be able to get some other um, surprising results. Again, you can control this. to sound real nice there actually but it's really up to you this is where you can just go crazy and really start enjoying yourself and having some fun even just with a basic filter see what we can get change that to maybe pass vintage take the reverb off for a second kinds of stuff but anyway it's just a simple kind of sawtooth I guess well it is it's just a sawtooth but there's an 11 and a quad in there and we've just kind of messed around with it a little bit you can see we've got a completely different sound now if I bring up the Completely different. So it really is just up to you. Um, I've got another, let me just check my other patches. I've got another kind of 
Now we've got the two oscillators again here going through a mixer and going into the VCF. Now what we got here? Yeah, it's very basic. Put the FM on. We've almost got there's a bass sound there. Chorus. So as you can see, just with the two oscillators on 11 and quad, you start off with that kind of the super saw type sound, and then from there, depending on what you add, you get pretty much anything you want really. So I hope that was a little, just a nice little mess around the video. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you um, learn something from it and mess around. If you make something decent, upload it. Let's hear it. Thanks. Bye.